Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you like this watch, you can see it and start your own Patriot games on our website, thewatchbox.com. Well, I'm giving away the game here and the fact is this watch, launched in 2007 at Basel World, is so scarce that I'm experiencing my first one today along with you. That's quite a while to go. 4,500 watch videos without experiencing a Rolex based on a mainstream model. So how special is this watch that retails for 88,400 US dollars new? Let's investigate. The fit is standard. It's a 40 millimeter Rolex GMT Master II. Technically this watch is the 116759, so white gold. S-A-R-U, a combination of diamonds, blue sapphires, and rubies. And you can see that the watch has a pretty conventional sizing and stance. 40 millimeters across the round of the case. Lug to lug, this one measures 48.2 millimeters, 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. If you include the solid end links of the bracelet, it's still a reasonable 51.3 millimeters across the wrist. And it's a relatively reasonable 11.9 millimeters thick. Considering all the gems, this one doesn't gain much girth, so it still fits underneath the dress cuff. Now the time is downright Baroque, and all of this due to the gem setting. The white gold is remarkably discreet, and the bracelet is made of the same material. Rolex uses its own blend, made in its own foundry, conceived in its own labs, it's known as gray gold in the industry. It's an 18 karat white gold alloy that is white straight through, so it never needs to be rhodium plated like cheap conventional white gold. If you scratch it, there's just more white metal underneath. Straight through polish, polished flanks, satin, shoulders, and you can see all removable links fixed with screws. There's a clamshell closure for a white gold clasp that is fully finished internally, has its own straight through polished stripe. And you can see that there are multiple anchoring points inside the clasp, three of them, so you can change the anchoring point of the bracelet. But it also has Rolex's five millimeter tool free easy link. So it's the equivalent of adding or subtracting one sizable link. So that's what you've got there. What I should add is that the clasp is remarkably secure. It's a trigger system with a horn and a beak. So it has a clamshell, yes, but it's, it's not actually locked by the clamshell. That's a second lock. There is a trigger system inside the clasp. So you actually have a double lock in place, very secure. Okay, this is where things get interesting. You have diamond paved lugs and fully wrapped diamond paved crown guards. And you can see several different sizes of brilliant cut gem are used. You can see the white gold giant center dot stamp identifying a white gold Rolex trip lock crown. And though the watch is 100 meters water resistant as rated, because of the trip lock rather than a more conventional 100 meter twin lock crown, I've always counted the GMT Master as somewhat conservatively rated in terms of water resistance. Now what always gets me with these lugs is that the Brilliant Cut Diamonds look a little bit like the suckers of an octopus. So it's almost as though this watch is enveloping and gripping your arm like some sort of underwater behemoth. It has that air about it. It does seem a little bit like an octopus tentacle. Once you get that image in your mind, it's difficult to get rid of it. But the bezel helps. And I mean all of this in good fun and jest. This is a watch for which you must smile and play along. Okay, let's talk about gems because there are lots of them. All told, 135, of which 76 are on the lugs and crown guards. And then you have 23 diamonds inside of the bezel. And then you have a separate 18 blue sapphires and 18 rubies. So there's a lot going on here. You have a giant triangular index, but the bezel, which is white gold, works like any GMT master. It's bi-directional. It's an aviator's bezel. And if you line it up with the 24 hour hand, you're going to note that things are a bit different on the dial. You have a high polished white gold 24 hour hand. So there's less distinction visually. It blends with the dial more naturally. And you will see that the GMT master script at six o'clock is still green. This model launched during the heyday of the green accent GMTs in the mid to late 2000s. It was part of that first generation super case family and that's what we have. We have a dial that is black lacquer, Cyclops eye magnifier present and correct and inside Rolex is COSC chronometer certified in-house caliber 3186. 31 joules, smooth bi-directional automatic winding, jeweled staff, Teflon coated reversing wheels. What does all that mean? It's super smooth and quiet. You can't feel or hear it winding. The timepiece features two time zones 
zones, independently settable. The triangular index is a 24-hour single circuit hand, one circuit per day, and the center is your local time. It's keyed to the date, so that is your 12-hour format settable independently. It features a free-sprung balance and a full balance bridge for toughness, so you have that shock resistance, but then you have an overcoil hairspring to help it earn the chronometer certification. The overcoil helps it to beat concentrically in any orientation with respect to gravity. It's a Breguet overcoil, handmade, and then it's a Paracron Blue oxidized niobium zirconium alloy created by Rolex. It is robustly anti-magnetic, so this is also a highly anti-magnetic watch. Ideal whether you're an aviator or a desk aviator dealing with high-powered electronics and personal devices. This is also a movement that does feature a hacking or stop seconds function, and it beats weight at 28,800 vibrations per hour, what is known as a modern high beat rate. It's a tough movement, a smooth movement, an accurate movement, and with a second time zone and a date, a practical movement. This could be your only watch. Daring, indeed, but water resistant, rugged, and precise. Above all, it is a Rolex and a beautiful one. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Baguettes and diamonds and sapphires, oh my! Well, the SARU is considerably less colorful, but perhaps a little bit more formally Rolex by night. See this one by day on the watch box.